the work and the bass on the track on my face to the back like I'm taking a slap I need a drink but it's straight from the tap and I'm hating the slack couple miles slide around like the hate in the gaff please stop talking that trash cause the vibes in the fun all the way to the back what is up guys it's your mom over here and today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new native stem complete pro scooter so I got this for my birthday last week and this scooter is insane man it's one of the world's most durable street scooters out there it has a flat bottom which i really like it's the iconic native flat bottom and usually scooters bottoms aren't flat the, since this one is flat you can do bar grinds way easier because you can, you can easily balance on them next up it has the crook groove over here also for bar grinds and then we got the glass reinforced nylon boxed ends over here so those are insane because usually when you do half pipes it like it scratches all over the back but since you can change these out pretty good um i got the large scooter so it's 4.1 kg which is nine around nine pounds um uh, i'd say for a street scooter it's pretty light but for a park scooter it's it's heavy man so here are my scooters in comparison my old brandless scooter and my new native scooter so first off the bat you can already see that my new scooter is double my old dex size in width all right and next up you can see that uh, my new one is a lot thicker and this one just has a thin bar right up here and um next is and that with the thick one you can't really cut yourself that easily well, for this one, I always get uh, cuts and scratches with uh, these sides, these corners. Um, another big difference is that my new one doesn't have brakes, and the old one does. So usually when I'm doing my tricks, I sometimes hit the brake and then stop completely. While I won't, I wouldn't for this one. Uh, the reason why I like a thicker deck is because landing would be a lot easier, and now I can do higher jumps because I I. And before, with the small one, I wouldn't be able to jump down higher objects because I wouldn't be able to land on it as easy. While this one, I would be able to because landing space is just... Um, because I would be able to land way easier. Over here. Now, the locks over here, this hex lock is um, connected to the whole base over here. While this one is, it's not connected to anything actually, it's just a clamp. So when I'm like, when I'm trying to la when I'm trying to jump off a high object, um, even if I tighten this, you put the scooter. I'm recording. Oh. Even if I tighten, even if I t tighten this really hard, um, when I jump off some big obstacles, the wheel would just, um, the wheel would just, the wheel won't be aligned with the bars. So as you can see, this. As you can see, the clamp is facing forward while the wheels is just... Look at that, bro. Unaligned. That And I'll always have to... And what's bad about this is it unaligns itself in like one to two minutes. So every two minutes, I have to unscrew the clamp, put a uh, real... I have to unscrew the clamp, realign the wheel, and play again, which sucks. While this one, I wouldn't have to do anything. No maintenance. Amazing. So let's take this for the test and we'll see you guys back. So I just got back from scooting and I've got to say this is an amazing scooter. It's super smooth. Everyone in the park said that and um, compared to my old one, the landing was just way easier. So if you're going to get a scooter, get the native stem. It's amazing. So by the way, I'm in the making of my new video, which is um, learning to tail whip. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you won't miss out on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button down below and peace out.